Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw an army jeep. It's gonna be a lot of fun and it's just me in the studio today. So remember, if I ever go too fast or you need extra time, remember you can just pause the video. I hope you have your art supplies and you're gonna follow along. Let's start. I have my paper horizontal so that we have room to draw the whole jeep and we're gonna draw a side view. And I'm also using my markers to draw with but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. I'm also using marker paper because I'm using a marker to draw with. First, let's draw the ground, and I'm gonna draw a bumpy line so it looks like our Jeep is off-road. Then I'm gonna draw a circle for the front wheel. I'm gonna draw it about this size, and if you want, you could use a template to trace around if you want to draw a perfect circle, but I like drawing it freehand to practice. Then we're gonna try to draw the same size circle for the back wheel. I'm gonna draw it right about here, and we also want to make sure that the wheel is touching the ground so that it doesn't look like it's floating. Okay, now let's draw a few more circles. I'm going to draw one for the rim inside of the tire. And let's also draw another circle for the hub or the axle. There we go. Then we can also give our wheels tread. And I'm gonna draw these little lines that go all the way around the outside circle. Now it's already starting to look like a Jeep because we got these cool wheels. That part I sped up, so remember to pause the video if you need that extra time. Okay, now let's connect our wheels together. And because it's a Jeep and it goes off road, we don't wanna draw this line, the rocker line, too low. We wanna draw it kinda of high so that we have ground clearance. We're gonna draw it straight across. You could use a ruler if you want. Okay, now let's draw the front of our Jeep. And we're gonna draw the main shape to the Jeep body first. And then we're gonna add all the details later. So let's also extend the back of the Jeep out a little further too, right here. So we're gonna imagine that going behind. Then we're gonna draw it coming up, straight up, to the same length that we did for the front of the Jeep. Now let's draw the wheel wells. We're gonna start here, and the front wheel well is straight in a diagonal line. So about halfway up this line, oh, I might make it go up a little bit longer or taller. Then we're gonna go halfway, and we're gonna draw a horizontal line that goes just past the wheel. And then we're gonna draw a diagonal line coming down this way. Then for the back wheel well, we're gonna draw an upside down U shape or half of a circle. So we'll start here, and we're gonna come up over the tire back down and stop there. Let's also add the fender for the front or that goes over the front wheel. So we're gonna draw another horizontal line and diagonal line coming down to match. I'm gonna draw this up a little bit higher because we added that fender line. So we wanna make sure that the hood for our Jeep is a little bit taller. And we're gonna draw this horizontal line coming back past the fender and maybe we'll stop about there. Then we're going to draw it coming straight down, but we're going to add a little curve in the corner and I will come straight back and we're going to stop about there. Next we're going to draw the body coming up and it's curving and this curve matches the wheel well. And then we're going to draw a straight line coming back and we're going to connect to the line back here. We need to draw it a little taller. There we go. That's kind of the main shape of our Jeep, our army Jeep. It looks really cool. Let's add more details. Now we're gonna add the front bumper and we're gonna draw it coming out, up, and then back in. And they're really basic bumpers. So we're gonna draw it out, up, back in. We could also add another line here and here. We could also add suspension. Let's draw a diagonal line that comes out here to a circle and then we're gonna connect it back in. And then let's draw a diagonal line here too. Let's do the same line back here for the back wheel. We're gonna come up like this, we'll add a circle, and then a diagonal line back. Let's add the latch for the hood. We'll draw a line that comes up, and then we're gonna draw, it almost looks like a letter T. And then we can also draw the windshield. And we could draw it up, or the Jeeps also had the windshield folded forward. So let's draw it folded forward. I'm gonna draw a circle right here, and then we're gonna draw a line that comes up this way, and then we're gonna go across like this, or towards the front of the Jeep. 
and we could just leave it like that. Next, let's draw the steering wheel. We're gonna draw a diagonal line coming up to the right, and then we're gonna draw this actual steering wheel this way. Then we could also draw the levers. This is the stick shift. We'll draw a circle on it. Then we could also add a couple more levers down here. And let's also add the seat. I'm gonna draw a line coming up and then connecting there. And then we could also draw the back of the seat coming up here. Next, let's add a fuel tank. We're gonna add a gas tank back here or an extra can in case we run out of fuel. So we're gonna draw a rectangle shape. And then we could also draw the spare coming up a little bit higher and back down. Let's add a circle right here where we add the gas. We could also add a shovel to the side of our Jeep just in case we get stuck and we need a way to get out. We could dig our Jeep out of the dirt. So we've got a line down, then we draw a sideways U shape. Then we'll draw this handle for our shovel coming this way. And then we'll draw the actual handle on the back. Ooh, we could even make the handle a little bit thicker. And then let's also draw a line coming down. This is how we connect it to the Jeep or keep it on the vehicle. You could leave your Jeep just like this, or you could add even more things. Maybe a soldier driving the Jeep. You could also draw, oh, I think we need to draw a heavy machine gun mounted on our Jeep. I'm gonna draw it right here. We'll draw a rectangle coming up. And maybe a bigger box here. We could add a little extra details on it. Then let's draw the barrel. We're gonna draw it coming really far forward. And then we're gonna draw, make it thicker. I'm gonna draw a little line up. We'll come back like this. Maybe we'll make it even thicker. Oh, I'm gonna add a couple more lines for extra details. There we go. Maybe a diagonal line here and come back in. We could add a couple lines here. Oh, let's add more stuff. I'm gonna add a rectangle coming out the back like this. Oh, and then maybe a handle too. Oh, I'm gonna draw a couple more lines. <laughs> if I'm going too fast, remember to pause the video, but you could also add whatever you want. You don't have to make it look like mine. Maybe we have an extra thing sticking down here. There we go, I think we should leave it just like this, except we still need to color it. This part will fast forward again, so pause the video and take extra time to color your drawings. Even add more things like a background or even soldiers. All right, let's speed things up. We did it, we finished drawing and coloring our army jeep and it turned out really cool. I hope you'll take time to color in your drawings also. You can add even more things. I added a seat back here for extra soldiers. I even added numbers and even a flag. I added rocks down here at the bottom and I also used a white colored pencil to add highlights on the tires. If you have the same Art for Kids hub markers that I used and you want to use the same colors, use 48 green for the main color and also inside the wheels. Also use CG9, it's a dark gray for the tires. And then I use CG5 to add shading inside of the wheel wells. Also use that color for the heavy machine gun. Then I use 103 for the dirt and also the seats. And then CG1 for the rocks. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me and drawing an army Jeep. I'm sure your drawings turn out really cool. And remember, it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like mine because the most important thing is to have fun and practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Hey parents, teachers, and librarians. I'm super excited to share something awesome with you. We've put together our very first book filled with fun drawing lessons for you and your creative kids. From cute pets to mythical creatures, it's got everything to spark your creativity. And the coolest part, you can pre-order today. I also wanna give a huge shout out to our amazing publisher, DK Books. Thank you, DK Books, for making this dream a reality. We can't wait to see the amazing art you'll create with the help of our book. So click the link in the description and pre-order your copy today. Your support means the world to us. Keep drawing, keep creating, and always remember the most important thing is to have fun and practice. We'll see you later, our friends.